Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sean's Vlog, episode sixty-two. And today is July twenty-seventh, twenty twenty. And after a whole week of missing Vlog, now I decided that I'm going to use a very special format to continue my Vlog and to continue、uh, honing my speaking skills. So, um. I'm going to read aloud an article every day or every、uh, episode in my vlog. And in that way, I practice my pronunciation. I practice how to slow down fully and confidently. So today, I'm going to read the first article in this series.、Uh, this is an article published by、uh, the Wall Street Journal. Online version, and the title is "Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos Faces Rare Test in First Testimony Before Congress." Used to script it, controlled experiences, e-commerce mogul prepares for an ad- adversarial hearing. At Amazon annual shareholder meeting in May, Chief Executive Jeff Bezos offered a familiar response. When asked about scrutiny surrounding the company, we want people to know the truth about Amazon and how we use our scale for good," he said before outlining company initiatives on climate, job creation, and small businesses. That often repeated message and Mr. Bezos' tendency in public appearances and interviews to stick to foxy, foxy. Talking points about Amazon's rise are said to be tested as never before when he makes his first ever appearance before Congress on Wednesday. In recent years, the world's richest man has granted few extended interviews to journalists and has seldom faced the kind of the kind of adversarial adversarial. Adversarial questions he is likely to get from lawmakers on the House Antitrust Subcommittee. He is set to testify by a video conference alongside CEOs from Apple Inc., Google, Parent Alphabet Inc., and Facebook Inc. Mr. Bezos, whose net worth has soared to about $118 billion, has ruled Amazon. Unchallenged since founding the company more than a quarter century ago, he has a reputation for being unyielding when holding a strong belief or challenging what he considers to be poorly considered ideas. But he is also known for staying on message. Former Amazon executives say they expect Mr. Bezos to prepare carefully. And to maintain discipline in sharing several messages that have come up frequently in the company's responses to scrutiny and criticism. One is that while Amazon accounts for a large volume of e-commerce sales, its overall size in U.S. retail is much smaller. Another is its counter-customer obsession. One of the fourteen principles long touted by Mr. Bezos and his team as an explanation of the company's competitive behavior. The crown jewel of this of his testimony is very likely to be the consumer," said Guru Haryana, who years ago helped build some of Amazon's seller services and how and now runs Commerce IQ, which works with brands selling on Amazon. He can argue that you don't want to enforce too many rules on an open market because you will end up hurting the consumer. A spokesman for Mr. Bezos declined to comment for this article. Critics have questioned whether some of Amazon's practices put its own interests ahead of the customer-first principle, and lawmakers have been scrutinizing the company's competitive behavior. As part of a broader examination of large technology companies, including Amazon, since last year, 
Momentum grew for Mr. Bezos to testify after a Wall Street Journal article in April detailed the use of third-party seller data by company employees to help create competing Amazon-branded products. Okay, I think that's all for today, and I.、Um, It took me about five minutes, and I finished about the half of this article,、uh, probably forty percent.、Um, so let's see. Let me review this vlog tomorrow and see how good it has been performing, and hopefully, I am more、uh, calm and really slow down and really articulate each word. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.